It was the first permanent settlement in what became Bismarck and today contains the city's oldest surviving building. It was the site of Bismarck's first school and was important to ensuring the railroad's completion and establishment of the encompassing town. Since 1955, it has been a designated historic site celebrating Bismarck's earliest days. Camp Hancock with your host Randy Hoffman on History Talk, where we step back through local history to explore the people, places, and events that shaped our community. History Talk streams exclusively Thursdays at 10 a.m. on KFYR+. Camp Hancock was designated as a historic site on October 12, 1955. In addition to housing Bismarck's oldest surviving building, Camp Hancock features an original 1909 Northern Pacific Railroad locomotive, which was donated for the site's dedication, and North Dakota's oldest existing church, the Bread of Life Church, formerly St. George's Episcopal. Completed in 1881, the church was first located at Avenue A and Mandan Street, then later relocated to the corner of 3rd Street and Rosser Avenue. It was donated to the Camp Hancock Historic Site in 1965, where it remains today. The locomotive underwent restoration in 2010, which included a long-awaited shelter. Camp Hancock's original purpose was a supply depot and infantry post to support development of the Northern Pacific Railroad through the region. Establishment of the camp was authorized on April 16, 1872, when the St. Paul-based headquarters of the Department of Dakota issued Special Order No. 65. The order appointed a board of directors, including Dr. Benjamin Slaughter, to select a site for the location of a support depot within the, quote, immediate vicinity of the point where the railroad would cross the river. It replaced Camp Green, which was relocated at the mouth of the Little Heart River, three miles south of where Fort McKean would be established. The camp was formerly occupied on August 8, 1872, when officers arrived aboard the Ida Stockdale, downriver from Fort Rice. It was originally called Camp Greeley, named for journalist Horace Greeley, the liberal presidential candidate running against President Grant. General Sheridan opposed naming the camp after Greeley and ordered the name to be changed. By the time General George Winfield Scott Hancock visited on October 7, 1872, the post was renamed Camp Hancock in his honor. Greeley's occupation marked the first formal settlement in what would become Bismarck. It was a military post used primarily as a supply depot. This was three months after Bismarck was founded as Edwinton that May. Several structures were erected that fall, comprising of log buildings and tents. One of the original log buildings, which has since been covered by clapboard siding and expanded, still remains as the site as the city's oldest surviving building. While there is no doubt that the city's oldest building is that at Camp Hancock, there are varying accounts as to when it was built and by whom. Most accounts state that it was one of the initial buildings erected in the fall of 1872, but some do indicate it wasn't constructed until 1873. At least one other source says that the first two buildings on the site were those commissioned by Dr. Burley, ahead of the camp's occupation, including his warehouse and home. Although most sources say these were located across from where Camp Hancock would be located. No firm records prove the date without reasonable doubt. Linda Slaughter, whose husband was the camp's post-surgeon, established Bismarck's first school inside a tent at Camp Greeley on August 24th. It was a Presbyterian Sunday school called Sabbath School, housing about six students. The following year, Slaughter is named Bismarck's first school superintendent and establishes the first public school. The local weather bureau was first housed on the site in 1874 and remained there until 1877, when Camp Hancock's purpose as an occupied infantry encampment ceased on April 12th. But the weather bureau would soon return to the site, where it remained from 1894 until 1940. Between 1877 and 1894, Camp Hancock served at the Quartermaster Office and Signal Station. The Department of Agriculture used the facility after the Weather Bureau departed until 1949, when the building was gutted by a major fire caused by its furnace. At that time, the building was donated to the State Historical Society, who began restoring the damaged building.
I invite you to check out my two Bismarck history books. They are available to purchase on Amazon and select local bookstores. Copies are also available at the Bismarck Public Library. Visit bismarckbook.com for more information. That was our look at Camp Hancock. Next, we'll hop across the river to learn about the founding and formative years of Mandan. Is there a local history topic you'd like to be featured? Email suggestions to historytalk at kfyrtv.com.